covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Apple unveiled four new phones Tuesday which are equipped for faster technology with 5G wireless networks. The pandemic temporarily paralyzed Apple's overseas factories and key suppliers, leading to a delay of the latest iPhones from their usual late September rollout. The company also closed many of its U.S. stores for months because of the pandemic, depriving Apple of a prime showcase for its products. Now the new lineup has been unveiled. The iPhone 12, 12 mini, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max range in price from about $979 Canadian to upwards of $1,550. The tech giant said the new phones will also be more durable. In a move that may annoy some consumers, Apple will no longer include charging adapters with new phones. The company says that will mean smaller, lighter boxes that are more environmentally friendly to ship. Apple, however, separately sells two models of power adapter, which are likely a required purchase since the included cable is not compatible with the traditional USB-A style wall wart. Apple has one of the most loyal and affluent customer bases in the world, which has many analysts betting that the next wave of phones will sell well. The iPhone remains the foundation of Apple's business. Apple boasted about the 5G capabilities and brought in Verizon CEO Hans Vestberg to champion the carrier's network. 5G is supposed to mean much faster speeds, making it quicker to download movies or games, for instance. But finding those speeds can be a challenge. While telecom operators have been rolling out 5G networks, significant boosts in speed are still uncommon in much of the world, including the U.S. The iPhone models unveiled Tuesday will launch at different times. The iPhone 12 and 12 Pro will be available starting October 23rd. The Mini and the Pro Max will follow on November 13th. Okay, I, I, gotta, I gotta ask, why would they not include a charger? They're saying it's more environmentally friendly, Jeff. But the fact is, is that you got to buy the charger anyways. Yeah, it's going to come in separate packaging. Yeah, this is why uh, there's a bit of an uproar about this. I think it's a total price grab. <laughs> and, and I mean, <laughs> Apple? I, I know, right? Come Shocking. On now. But I mean, Apple phones are already, any Apple product is already crazy expensive as it is now. Yeah. Um, now they're going to make you pay for an, a charger sure they are like this is ridiculous that is supposed to be commonplace just like a pair of wired headphones you say that but there are times jeff when i think like when i buy a monitor for my computer yep why do they throw in a d sub cable it makes no sense fair enough and that to me is wasteful uh, sure right right but you don't charge your monitor through a d sub cable Right, but w there will come a time when they're right, when everyone does have a USB-C charger that's a fast charger. Yeah. You know, but because we all use USB-A a, a lot, I, I generalize, but a lot of us use wall warts that have like a USB-A, which is the, you know, the fat thin one that you have to try three times before you plug <laughs> it in. That's right. Yeah. Um, but, but there will come a time when we all have USB-C chargers. Yes. And I know that that's the, that's the goal. Like they're trying to transition everybody onto the same connection. Yeah. Um, but still, it seems kind of ridiculous that you'd buy a phone without a charger. Mm -hmm. uh, like... I don't know. That's the story. And the other thing is, <laughs> is four different models of phone. Like, you, got, you got the Pro, you got the Pro Max, you got the Mini. The Mini is smaller. Like, it's the same. <laughs> I poke fun. It's like the same I'm, nuts and bolts, just different size. Yeah. Like, essentially. Like, ah, uh, well. <sighs> no, I make. It, it, I mean, it, good for them for for bringing out a new product during a pandemic. I mean, that's great. Yeah. It's hard uh, it, for, for companies to manufacture right now. It really sure, is. Sure, absolutely it is. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, the fact that they've they've had shortage of supply because of yeah. factory shutdown and all that, and the fact that they can roll this out, that's great. Uh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> He's not a fanboy, you can tell. <laughs> no, I, I am very anti-Apple. All right. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just... Ugh, I mean, if... Ugh. If I bought I'm like, an, oh, where's he going with this? If and I bought like, an Android oh. phone without a charger, I would probably lose it in the store. But if you had an Android phone, it's USB-A to probably USB-C. Yeah. So you're you're fine because you have that yes. charger already. You're probably but 
that's the issue. So we'll just, still. we'll just leave it at that and head back to Becca. Big thanks to Roy W. Nash and our community of viewers for submitting stories to us this week. Thanks for watching the Category 5.TV Newsroom. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your tech news with a slight Linux bias. And if you appreciate what we do, become a patron at patreon.com slash category5. From the Category 5.TV Newsroom, I'm Becca Ferguson.